today's Monday. Nobody's allowed outside after 8 p.m. All small businesses are closed. So that's that. And if you step outside, you're gonna get shot. If y'all don't know, my life is a movie. Am I gonna tell the story about the guy that was in jail? That's one of my most phenomenal stories. I don't know if I wanna let y'all in like that. It's so interesting how my life just happens to pan out every time. Based on a true story. Damn, how old was I? I think I was like 18, 19 years old when I was an idiot. I'm surprised we didn't go to jail that year. You know, I could have ended up in jail. And I was dating this guy who, let me just put a little background to the story. This man was in my house all the time. Like almost every day after work, home from school and homie was in my crib on my couch, eating chips, talking to my mom. Like, the fuck are you doing here? I texted your mom and she said I could come over. My mom and my cousin and him chilling on the couch eating ice cream. Where, why are you here? My dad liked him. And anybody that knows, knows that my dad don't like nobody. Like my dad would sit on the couch with homie, make him snacks. My dad didn't even do that with me. This man was here, best friend in my parents. It has to be that I was dumb. It has to be because there's no way. Like when I get into the story, y'all gonna be like, what? Right before he gets locked up in my crib, homie is locked up and he's writing me letters. Like I wanna say I got a letter like every three days. He's not only writing me letters, he's writing my mom letters. He's calling like every day. Let me tell y'all. I'm here living in this ghetto, fabulous New York fairy tale, like, and he's, he didn't call me. And I'm waiting. Something's wrong in the air. Like, I don't know what's going on, but something's going on. He finally calls me that night and he's like, yeah, you know, I've just been busy all day and some blase blase. I'm not thinking anything of it. You know, you, you in jail, I guess, you know, you getting, you packing up your belongings. I, I don't know. Packing up your toothbrush, I guess. I don't fucking know what you're doing in jail. I don't know. I just found it mad sus. Like, he just sounded weird on the phone. And ladies, you know, and don't say you don't know, you know for a fact when something's off with Bay. Maybe they served meatloaf today, I don't fucking know. Like around two o'clock, I noticed that he's posting on social media. So I'm trying to be understanding at this point. I can't be selfish or upset at you because you're not like hitting me up type shit. I low-key have an attitude because I'm like, I know this nigga has had his phone on him all day. What the fuck is going on? So he's here like, yeah, you know, I was with the fans, I was chilling, my bad, uh, uh. I should go, next day I go on social media, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, and I see this nigga makes a post. Let me tell y'all what the fuck he posted. So this man has the audacity to post a picture on Instagram. Who the fuck? Shorty posted a picture of him and some girl that I have never seen in my entire life. Never seen this bitch. Not once. I don't know who she is. First thing I think, because I'm so fucking dumb, is, oh, this is probably his best friend. <laughs> Stupid me. You know, there's no actual caption to the picture. I'm just here like, uh, what the fuck is going on here? There has to be some type of mistake. Shorties, y'all know the drill. Go through the comments. Who's in the comments? What are the comments saying? And everybody's in the comments like, oh, y'all are so cute. Goals. And I'm here like, goals? What you mean goals? What what goals? What? I go through the comments and I see Shorty had commented on it. Her shit is private. In her bio, it's like, free my baby um, with their date in a hashtag. And I'm just here like, who the fuck is this? Who, who are you? Who are you and who, who invited you here? <laughs> Where are you from? Cause who, who the fuck is this, right? Hey, I'm my cousin and I'm just like, I need you to add this bitch. Listen to me, fellas. Listen to me well. If your shorty is ever suspecting some woman, understand she has a whole team behind her that is down to investigate with her, okay? I'm trying to talk myself out from pulling up to this man's house, right? Can't let the crazy out. The crazy comes out, it's over for everybody. There's no like saving nobody. Once the crazy is out, the crazy is out. And that's just... That's just how the cookie crumbles. Like, once the crazy's out, the crazy's out. My cousin sends me a screenshot of Shorty's page. And before she sent it to me, she says, I need you to sit down. Why do I need to sit down? I was in complete shock of what was on the Shorty's page. Shorty was his girlfriend. Like, this was his girlfriend. If she had pictures posted of them, he was with him the morning before he left. And then he was with me that night. So in the morning, he was with her. And at night, he was with me. And then he went to jail the next day. I'm sorry. <laughs> My very first reaction is, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to put hands on you. So I call him. <laughs> this is the best part of the whole story. <laughs> Please just bear with me.
call him and I'm like, hey, what's up? What are you doing? And he's like, oh, nothing. I'm chilling. I go, oh, word, 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 word. You got a girlfriend? He's like, what? I'm like, do you have, do you have a girlfriend? I'm gonna let y'all know something. If a shorty is asking you a question, it's because she already knows the answer. When you ask a man a question, why do they persist to like lie like you're fucking dumb? Now I'm sitting here wondering if I'm tripping. Like, wait, maybe he doesn't have a girlfriend. So I'm just like, yes, you do. He's like, oh, where'd you get that from? I saw her page and she has your name in her bio and everything. Do you know what this man said? This man told me that he can't control what other people put in their bio. What? He really sat there and told me like, oh, I, I can't control what other people put in their bio, but like you have nothing to worry about. The fuck I do have a lot to worry about. So after that, um, I had cut him off. We stopped talking. But moral of the story is all of these men have girlfriends. That's just it. They have girlfriends. Even when they tell you they don't, they do. But what I can say is that like one of two things, men lie. Men lie all the time. Men are liars. That's what they're good at. It's like their first language. So just pick your favorite liar and keep it going. All men do is lie. For what? I'm not sure, but I'm not going to sit here and try to figure it out. I don't know if their mother's uh, drilled that way of communicating into their head. I one day would love to learn how to lie like a man. Y'all are good. so everybody just moral of the story is men lie but you know women lie better stay woke um uh, make sure you guys follow me on instagram at sammy sosa s-a-m-m-y s-o-s a-a-a underscore hope you guys have a beautiful week make sure you like comment subscribe in whichever order you like and make sure you find out he had a girlfriend because he probably do what can i say have a good night y'all have a good night